What if I told you that a simple, solitary sock held some of the most important wisdom that you could use to live a better life? And I don't know about each of you, but with all that we are facing individually and as a species, I think we can use all of the wisdom that we can muster. So join me today as we discover this, this sock of mystery and uncover the wonders that it can teach us. Let's tap back in. significant other just asked you to take out the trash before you leave. Did I mention that your dog just had an accident? He most definitely did. And before you can face any of these tasks before you, you still have to get dressed. However, you're faced with one small glaring problem. You only have one sock. Where the bleep is that sock you think to yourself and you glance through your drawer as you button your shirt, pull your pants on, and then you walk to check your hair in the mirror. And as you smooth out any wrinkles on your top and you tuck in your shirt and you clasp your belt, you're hoping that your missing sock will just appear. You finish and rush to your dresser to see if that fugitive sock is returned, ready to face justice for its crime. Spoiler alert, it hasn't. You take a deep breath and give up on it as you reach for a different pair and face the day ahead. Flash forward three weeks later, you're getting ready to head outside and plant some grass seed and a few bare spots that crept up during the winter. Before you do, you head to your dresser and grab your Fitbit thinking, if I'm gonna be doing some yard work, I might as well get credit for these steps. Maybe I can skip the trip to the gym today. And as you grab your Fitbit, you, you see something between the dresser and the wall and you reach down being careful not to bump your head on the corner of the dresser and you know this from personal experience, and you reach between the grab in your dresser and the wall, straining as you turn your head and contort your shoulder so that you have maximum wingspan to reach the object. After a few failed attempts, you manage to grasp it, and you stand up and behold the boon of your latest task, a sock. And it's not just any sock, but the sock you stressed over three weeks ago. It was there almost in plain sight, the whole time. How often in life do we get stressed and fall into panic over an item or an answer that we can't seem to find, only to discover later that the solution to our query was right in front of us the whole time? If only we had been patient, if only we had looked or worked just a little bit longer and harder, if only we had realized that no matter how insurmountable the problem that stood before us, we just had to trust that the solution was in front of us as well. One of the secrets in life is that most of the time, things work out. We only need perspective to see how all the pieces fit together. So how do we wrap all of this up and apply it to our everyday? How do we tap back in? The next time you are facing a problem at work, at home, or within the confines of your own mind, and you're tempted to get frustrated or angry or just give up entirely, stop. Remember that the solution is only waiting to be discovered. And like that miscreant, troublesome, disappearing sock, the answer will turn up eventually, even if it doesn't present itself as quickly as we might want it to. With all of the things that we are facing in the world right now, I feel like most of us are frantically searching for all of the socks in our lives. And I'd love to know what the socks in your life are. What challenges have you faced where, like the missing socks we've just spoke of, the answers seem to be elusive and show up when we least expected them to. Feel free to share that in the comments below. But for now, stay safe, be smart, and as always, tap back in. Hey there, it's Mike again. Did you enjoy today's burst of inspiration? I hope you did, and if you did, why not take a second and click like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you're alerted as soon as the next video goes live. And until then, tap back in.